So it's June 1st, and I finally got the mower deck on here. Uh, as anybody who's uh, saw the build of this tractor knows, uh, at the other house, the yard really wasn't big enough for the mower. Here, completely different story. Um, so, I we finally got the shed up, and uh, between the shed and the garage, I put some uh, gray patio pavers. Um, I might get a picture later and show you. It's just dark out right now. Um, so I finally was able to take the snow thrower off, which <clears throat> I didn't want to take off until I had some place to put it. Now it's no, it's in back on the patio pavers with um, uh, a tarp over it. So uh, <clears throat> many people told me. Um, so when I when I got this tractor, I took the deck, cleaned it up, painted it, wrapped it up in plastic, uh, threw a couple of uh, those silicon bags in there, and I shoved it under the deck, um, our wooden deck at the other house. I was told, oh, well, if you leave it out there, even if it's wrapped in a bag, it's going to rust and blah, blah, blah. No, came out, it's fine. Underneath is perfect. There's no rust. Um, the thing is, is if you, if you wrap it up tight enough and you get a good quality plastic, it won't rust. Um, also, uh, you know, being under the uh, wooden deck at the other house, uh, it didn't get a lot of rain or snow. In fact, very little. Uh, so the only moisture that would really have affected it would be the atmospheric uh, moisture. and uh, It was sealed in a bag pretty tightly, and I used duct tape to seal that up, and it, it worked good. I mean, proof's in the pudding. I mean, you can see there's not a spot of rust on here. Uh, and it does run, so, or work, so let's... Uh, goes up and down fine and I was going to film putting it in but frankly it was a lot of me taking it out and putting it in, taking it out and putting it in it's got this weird cantilever design and I wasn't sure how it went on there um, I don't know if you can see underneath it very well but so if anybody has one of these and wants to know how that works shoot me in you, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll post a video showing that in more detail but uh, I don't want to bore people with it either uh my headlights and tail lights, you know, still got that going. These LEDs are awesome. I, you know, I paid so little for them on Amazon. I thought for sure by now they'd be, they'd be no good, but they work really, really well. Um, this thing had a rough winter. It was outside all winter. Did uh, several big snow blows with it, so uh, it needs to be cleaned up. Um, but I'll do that. Uh, later, uh, right now, I'm just charging up the battery because tomorrow uh, I'm going to the Brewtown Rumble and I'm meeting a bunch of guys for breakfast. Uh, I'll be have I'll have my uh, camera glasses, but I'm not sure how much I'm gonna videoing I'm gonna do. There're gonna be a lot of builders there and a lot of people who might not take kindly to that. So I'll sneak it in where I can. Let's put it that way. So uh, anyway. So that's all. I just wanted to uh, just kind of post this, and uh, mostly because I've had people ask me questions about Gilson's. There's some guys out there who have them. Um, I think there's four of them that I know of. Um, so anyway, if they want to know how that works, I can let them know. I can show uh, do a more detailed video. All right. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Later. Uh, one last thing I meant to mention: the shoot is in the back. <clears throat> and that kind of bites because that means my uh, hydro is going to get all full of grass clippings. So uh, I'm going to have to get some a rubber flap for that. And there's a plastic one, a chute that goes on there that uh, directs the, the uh, grass off to, to one side or the other. But obviously I don't have that, but I figure if I cover it with some, uh, like a piece of rubber or piece of plastic of some sort... Uh, you know, just to kind of keep the grass going down towards the ground and keep any rocks or whatever from hitting the uh, the uh, the hydro oil filter, which is 
right in here, right like right about there in this underneath. I mean, it's like almost directly in the path of that thing, so I don't want any rocks going through the oil filter and losing all my hydro. <clears throat> uh, I guess it's just transmission fluid still. I, you know, I don't want to burn out the transmission on this, so anyway, just thought I'd mention that.